Hi! In this video, we're going to talk about how to install this Wi Fi Burbox camera to this arm box. You see, the arm box is quite large, not like the standard Burbox camera. So, the first thing is the camera needs to be waterproof. If the, the camera is not waterproof, the water may snake run different directions eventually lead to this camera and damage your camera. You can reference my another test video, which is testing the camera why it's so important to be waterproof. And you can place the camera on, on the one side of the arm box, but before we do that, I would like to just power up this camera and connect the camera to the Wi Fi network before I mount the camera to the arm box. This is the DC power coming from the AC outlet, and I just used the extension cable. This is 10 meter extension cable, and so we got the power. You see, even this is the Wi Fi camera, we still need the power. The second thing is we need to connect the camera to our home Wi Fi network. So before we do that, it's better to verify the Wi-Fi signal. This is the mobile phone, it's quite easier. Let's just go to the Wi-Fi setting and here the Wi-Fi signal should be strong. So if the Wi-Fi signal is strong, it's not strong, you need to have some kind of solution to repeat the Wi-Fi for the camera. We'll talk about this later. Okay, now the next thing is about the, how to make the connection. It's quite easier. First thing is move to the apps. Let's move close to the lens. Then here's a button. Here we got the Wi-Fi camera. And here we have the Nest. Nest. And this is the Wi-Fi. The mobile phone is connecting now. There's the name of the Wi-Fi and the password of the Wi-Fi. We click confirm. Nest. Now we see the QR code. This QR code contains the Wi-Fi information. And we just point the camera to the QR code. In this case, now the camera is going to read the Wi-Fi password and SSID. Okay, we see this signal which means now the camera is connecting to the Wi-Fi and add or defy the Wi-Fi. This is the interface. Now the ads ask me to save the new password to the camera. The password will be saved to the camera, but I'm not going to do that, so I close the ad to skip this step. And I just log into the app. Let's see. And we can see the camera's live now. This is the camera. And now pointing to the AC out. Just the cable coming from the AC outlet. Okay, the camera's ready. All right, before we do that, you see the camera is also support micro SD card. This is the micro SD card slot. So I need to install, I will go to install the micro SD card before I mount the camera to the own box. But in order to install the micro SD card, we need to disconnect the power. Otherwise, the camera is not going to detect the micro SD card. So I will disconnect the power. And I just got the micro SD card. This is the pin of the micro SD card. It should face to the top of the lens. Okay. Then we need to have this cover to cover the micro SD card, like this, so keep everything waterproof. Okay, don't worry, we just get the, now we get the box up. The camera is ready, let's just mount the camera to the, here. Okay, I will pre-install the bracket. We have two screws. Okay, let's do it this way. And we need to use the screw to screwdriver to fasten the screw. It's not so easy. Okay, let me turn around. I think it's more convenient for me to mount the camera. Let's turn around to fast the second and the screw.
Okay, the camera must be mounted. Let me just adjust the shooting angle. And we should pop again. This is the waterproof lock. Let's place the cable outside. Okay, let's bring back to the app and see how the video plays. I think I better restart the app, it will be more fast to have the live video. Okay, now we're seeing the button of the own box. The one thing is it for the camera, it's very important if the video is flatty. I mean, if the video is not clear, you can simply open the front cover, this one. And from here, we can adjust the lens. That's very important feature for the Burbox camera. If we cannot adjust the lens, like this one, it may not work for because the image could be flashy and different own balls could have a different dip from the bottom to the top. So we can adjust the lens by opening this front cover. And let's move back put it here. And here we're still seeing the live video from the camera. And there are several things you need to pay attention. You see, the own actually is pretty aggressive. If we just, you may, it's better to use some conduct to let out this cable to protect the cable. We receive some, info, some information about the own, I mean the own, just cut off the, this cable and damage the camera. This is one thing. The second thing is about the antenna. You see this is the L-shaped antenna. You also can use this large antenna, but this is not being come with the package. This is a large antenna. You can mount the antenna at the one side, like this, one side of the own box and just lead to the camera. It will provide much more strong Wi-Fi coverage. This is the for the Wi-Fi signal. If the Wi-Fi is still not good enough, okay, here we got the Wi-Fi repeater. So we can connect the camera to the repeater and the repeater will connect to our home Wi-Fi. That's another way, one way to work out. This solution allows us to watch the camera on a mobile phone, PC computer, or MacBook. And if we just want to watch the camera on the, like the HDMI TV, then we can use this HDMI box. And this is also for wireless, so the camera will live stream the video to the HDMI receiver and it's output to the this is HDMI box so output to the HDMI TV. Okay, that's one more thing. I know you guys some some of the guys just want to live stream the video to YouTube. We have a lot of this kind of client that just make the live stream from the camera to YouTube. In that case, I would suggest to use the Y version. I mean the camera with the cable connection, not the Wi-Fi. Why? Because you're supposed to need have the smoothly video 24 7. It's special the frame per second. For the Wi-Fi, sometimes we just have like six or eight frames per second. It's okay if you, if you just watch the live video from camera, but if you were to live stream for, I mean your audience and send to the YouTube, you better to choose the camera with the cable connection. We do have the IP camera, IP base IP version. Then instead of this connector, you have the CAFI, I mean internet cable connection. So you can connect the camera to a router by using the CAFI or CASIS internet cable. Also it support PoE. So we send both power and data from the router to the camera. There's no need for power source from outside. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post it in the comment section below. See you next time.